Former teen idol Jeremy Jackson is getting a second shot at fame. He was a cast member, you'll remember, on the hit show Baywatch. But after that, he got caught up in drugs and alcohol. He's been sober now, though, for five years and is on a new reality show called Confessions of a Teen Idol on VH1. Jeremy's here with me this morning. Good morning, Jeremy. High fives. High fives. I'm always getting shortchanged. It's been eight years. Over eight, eight years. Eight years sober. Jeez, everybody's and that's trying to important. steal from me all the time. <laughs> the victim, the victim. <laughs> no, but, but really, when I watched the show, because we were flipping around and my husband and I stumbled upon the first episode and we were glued. And what surprised me the most was hearing you tell your fellow castmates everything that you had been through. You had been through hell and back. That's true. I like to hear that you're glued too. Yeah, you know, it's I've a been good show. offered I've been offered other TV shows and other chances to get back, you know, on the boob tube and this one really <laughs> felt it felt different to me. It felt right to me. Tell us about your your struggle. Well, um, you know, I was you know, a, a child star. I was successful all over the world doing stuff and um, I didn't want it. I wanted to party and I wanted to, uh, you know, do my own thing. And I led myself down the worst possible road I could find. And, um, you know, I did it to the, to the hilt. I took myself to hell and um, somehow emerged um, victoriously now. It's been crazy. And you had a successful career going before this show came along, right? Oh, yeah. Movie offers, recording deals, TV show offers. I, I turned a lot of stuff down, lost a lot of money, lost a lot of friends and a lot of opportunities. So why do this? Um, this, as in this show? Yeah. Well, it's funny. I've been traveling around the world for the past two years, uh, doing lifestyle development for Christian Artigé and the Ed Hardy brands, doing these fashion shows worldwide. I had a successful career. I, I still do it. Um, you know, I have an assistant that runs it for me. But, you know, I met with my manager, who's my close friend, uh, Jeff Bowler, and they just were like, it's time. Let's do something. I'm like, yeah. So I started going to acting class again, and, um, you know, I put the parties on the back burner, and it just started started evolving and I got the, the, the offer for the show and it was done by former child stars, about former child stars. I met with the producers and it just felt right. It felt like the right show. Tell us about who else is on there with you. Um, all the guys are really great. Uh, Eric Nice is really fun to watch. Um, Chris Atkins. He's from MTV. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Chris the Atkins, grind. Mm -hmm. Chris Atkins, I just saw him uh, two days ago. He came down to my hometown and we watched the show together. So all the guys have stayed really close. Billy Huffsey's like a riot, you know. From um, fame. Everybody's great. What have you learned so far on the show? I learned a lot. You know, I learned a lot about myself. I learned a lot. Uh, it was a really cool experience to, to be with these guys who... I could fellowship with guys that have really been where I've been, where not a lot of guys have been, you know, with the clamoring girls and the limos and all that, you know, all that stuff with, that comes with being a child star. Because you know? the show is kind of, for people who don't know, it's, it's therapy. You all get together, you talk about what it was like back then, you know, what went wrong, and then you mm -hmm. try to get back in the game as well. Yeah, it has, uh, you know, definitely therapeutic tones, and it's, there's a lot of hype about child stars, what it's like to be a child star, and, and what is fame, you know? What it was like to have it, lose it, and we really dissect it and, and give people um, more of an understanding of what it was like to have it and lose it. Well, it's really fun to watch, and uh, we'll watch the rest on VH1. Thanks so much. Keep watching. All right, Jeremy Jackson, thank you so much. Thanks.